Today we're going to go over a Zulissi Owl Red Dot here, and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank Zulissi for sending this out to the channel for us to try out. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the table here, I'm going to unbox it, show you everything that comes with it, tell you some features about it, and then we're going to mount this one up on my Canik TB9SFX for this video, and then we're going to do a part two video on it where we're going to put it on my Smith & Wesson M&P 10mm, because this is rated for 10mm, but we're going to do that in a separate video, so let's get to the table and get started. Now we're at the table, let's open it up and see what all comes with this here. And right on top here, we have a cleaning cloth. Warning, read before use. Got the instruction manual here. Very legible and in color. Very nice on that. Then we're going to open this up here and we've got the actual red dot here. This does come with a picker rail adapter if you want to run it on a picker rail. Then right here we have a bunch of different hardware to mount them. This one, we've got the wrenches that adjust the hardware and the battery for it. Let's go over the features of it. The owl comes with a shake awake feature and it shuts off in four minutes. And then, of course, the slightest touch will bring the dot back up. We will check that out here in a little bit. It has a top load battery and that's a real nice feature. That way you ain't got to take the optic off to change the battery and lose your zero on the gun. It uses a CR1632 battery with up to 50,000 hours of life on it. And of course, that's going to be at the lowest setting. This has a 24 millimeter multi-coated lens with anti-fog and anti-scratch. It has zero parallax at 50 yards and it has three MOA dot on it. And it has 10 brightness settings and two of them are for night vision. As you can see here, it has a pick rail adapter mounted to it right now. That's for putting it on rifle, shotguns, and some target pistols. Now with the pick rail adapter off, you can see this has the Viper Doctor footprint on it to mount it to most optics that take that footprint. The windage and elevation adjustments on this are 1 MOA. This has an IPX7 waterproof rating and a shockproof up to 1500 Gs. And we are going to test that here in this video before we even mount it to the gun. The total length on this is 1.89 inches. Total width on it is 1.28 inches. And the total height on it is 1.04 inches. And it comes with a two year warranty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do my shake awake test here. I done this cause I actually had a red dot that failed on me. So now every time I get a dot with shake awake, I test it out. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna move this around here and you can see I got a clock here. As soon as that changes the old one, I'm gonna stop shaking this and then we're gonna just let it go and see if it shuts off in four minutes like it says. All right, it actually shut off in under four minutes, like it said. It was more like three minutes. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to reach over here and tap the box. Tapped it a little bit hard, but you can see it popped right back on. So it passed this test. Now let's take it outside and we'll beat it up a little bit. And then we'll throw it in the pond and check the water rating out before we even mount this to a gun. Let's get it started. Now we're outside and I got the sun to my back, so it's kind of hard to see the dot here. See if I can get this cupped in my hand just right so you guys can see it. Right there, you can kind of see it right there. We can see the dot is on here. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to do some dropping out here. This is wood. I would expect it to survive this, but I want to vibration test it. So I figured some really good drops here we get the zoomed in a little bit better just want to beat it up a little bit here force it down a little bit throwing it up in the air let it bounce around give it some force that one was kind of hard all right and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do this again with it on the gun, out on the range. 
so it'll have a little more force on it. But what I want to do is I want to try it in the water too. So I wanted to beat it up a little bit before we throw it in the water because we know if something gets knocked loose, water gets into it, we could have issues with it. All right, see if we can focus in here. Got a mark right there on it. Try to see if we can cover this up again. See if it's still on. That might be hard. I'm going to look through it myself. I do see the dot here. So I'm going to try to get it for you guys to see it. All right, there you go. You guys can kind of see it right there. Working just fine. So now let's throw it in the water. All right, once again, we are going to see that it is lit up. You can see the dot right there. I could try to get my camera to focus in here. You can see it's right there, and here we got a mason jar. We're just going to throw that right in there, get the focus back in here. And it's sitting in the mason jar. I would have threw it in the pond, but there's a lot of algae on the edge of it, and I can't get to it where I can grab it in the pond, so we're going to do it this way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit in here for a little bit. This says it's shockproof and it's water rated, so we're going to test it out here and see. I'm going to let it sit in there for about another five seconds here, and then we'll pull it out, take a look at it, and see if it's still lit up or not. And it's been five seconds. You can see down in there, completely submerged. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see the water level and that. So you can see that it was completely submerged here. We're going to pull it out. Get the water out of there. And let's see. I'm going to try to look here real quick. I'm going to keep talking to you guys so you know I'm not trying to do anything. Okay, I do see it on. So, let me see if I can get this to uh, show up here. This might be kind of hard. Get it to focus in. There we go. Now you guys can see the dot right there. It's still on. I'll try to move my hand away from it. Right there, you can see the reflection. There you go. There's a better view of it. So the dot's still working. I'm going to try it again. Drop it right on in there. Get my camera to focus here on it. That way you guys can see it. And we're just going to let it sit in here for about another 15 seconds or so. To me, if you're out and you're just, you know, carrying this, you're going to drop it in the mud puddle or something. More than likely, you're going to be picking it up pretty quickly. So I don't see you testing it for like a minute or two unless you're out on the lake or on the dock or something, drop it in the water and you got to jump in and find it. To me, this is more of a test just to see if you dropped it in the mud puddle, pull it out. Is it still going to work or not for getting wet? So we'll reach in here and we will look again. And every time I think I see it, I move it. Let's see here, get that water out of there. And we're going to move it around, and right there you can see the dot is still on. So it took the wood pretty good for a vibration, and then the water, of course, it took and handled that like it should. With absolutely no issues, you can see the dot better right there. So now what I'm going to do is just dry this off and get it mounted up, and we're going to take it out to the range and shoot it. Now we're out here with the Zulisi Owl, and what we're going to do is we got 10 rounds loaded up in Mechanic TV9 SFX here. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot at the big silhouette target and make sure this dot is on. I only got 10 rounds loaded up. So let's see if this thing's dialed in at all here. Big silhouette. All right, looks like it's hitting low rest. All right, I'm going to make an adjustment and be right back. All right, now we got another 10 rounds loaded up here. I think I got it dialed in. We're going to go for the MGM Targets Gong here. See if we can hit that. All right, looks like I can still move it a little bit more to the left, but it'll work for now. Let's try the small one. There we go, we hit it. MGM Coyote, we'll try a headshot. I got to get my aim on them shaking too much. Oh, we missed that. 
Not a good showing, but that's all on me. I'm going to put 10 more rounds in just to verify, and then we'll beat this up a little bit. All right, we're going to go for the small silhouette target here. This time I only put five rounds in because I just want to make sure. All right, I shot those kind of quick, but those all work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this magazine, smack it up a little bit, drop it on the ground here. I'm going to step back so hopefully you guys can see it here. I'm not going to beat it up real bad, but to me, this is something that could happen. Drop it right on the ground here. Drop it on its side. Again, drop it on this side. I'm going to drop it right down on the top of it again. All right. We still got a dot there, so I'm going to walk over here and get a magazine real quick. Just so you guys know, I'm going to keep talking even though I'm out of range here. So what we're going to do is I got 20 rounds loaded up now. So let's see if we can still hit that small silhouette here. Helps if I put the magazine in all the way. All right, try to do that small silhouette again. Seems to be working just fine. Try the small plate. All right, we pop that. I'm gonna pop the magazine out here again. We'll go back after that small plate and fire this round out. All right, we pop that. Gun is clear again. Drop it some more. Right on top. Right on the side. All right. It looks like it's getting pretty beat up. I know this ain't cement, but this is what I got to work with. And I think this is a fair shake on it. All right. Let's grab that magazine again here. Go after that small silhouette. Dot is still on. All right, MGM gong. Popping that. Let's go with the MGM coyote. All right, we're popping that. Let's try the small plate over here again. Okay, we hit that. Let's try the six inch. All right, hit that once. Let's go with the big silhouette we haven't hit with. All right, I'm shooting quick, but I am hitting it here. Let's go for the head on the big silhouette on the front. Ooh, I miss that. Let's go ahead and try 10 more. All right, we got 10 more in the magazine, but right here, I want to step back again. We're going to drop it one more time here. Just see what it does. That one was right on it. Dot still on. Grab my magazine here. We'll shoot 10 more rounds and I think we'll finish up as long as it's still on here. Let's go for the small silhouette. Big silhouette. MGM kayak. MGM gun. Big silhouette on the front. Small plate. All right, let's try the bowling pin. Pop the bowling pin. Now the gopher I always have issues with, so let's try to pop that go. All right. Looks like we hit him a couple of times. Now let's have a full magazine and have some fun. All right, starting left to right on all the big targets. I'm going to do some control pairs, double taps, whatever you want to call them. Let's go ahead and start that right here with the MGM Coyote. Ooh. Shooting a little bit too fast there. Let's go for the small plate. All right, take that. Let's try the six inch. All right, hit that a couple of times and we got that one on the last magazine. I think we prove our point that this thing is accurate even after dropping it on the ground, putting it in the water, beating it up on the dock. Let's go over my final thoughts on this. 
So what's my final thoughts here on the Zulisi Owl here? This one is the Dr. Footprint. Um, what more can I say guys? I beat it up on the dock, threw it in water, and it uh, handled both of those perfectly fine. And then we bring it out here. I get it pretty much zeroed in on this gun. Fire it to show you guys that. Then I drop it on the ground some more. Fire it, it still hits. Drop it on the ground some more. Fire it and it still hits. Guys, so far I'm really liking it. Um, adjustments are audible and tactile. The dot does have a tad bit of blue. Not much. The dot, I have no starburst at all on the dot. And this is very few dots that I'm like that where I don't get starburst. And this one is pretty good. Um, I think the buttons could be a little bit bigger, but that's because I got kind of big fat fingers. That's about the only negative I could see to it. But guys, I'd say I'd give this one a thumbs up after what I put it through. So they did give me a discount code for you guys. I'll leave the discount code and their percentage down here of what you'll get off on this. This was sent out to the channel. But as you guys see, I beat it up a little bit just to see what it would do. If the dot is rated and it's drop proof and waterproof, I am going to test it that way. A lot of the dots I've done lately, they don't have that, so I don't test it. If you guys would like me to see me do this a little bit more beating up on red dots, like dropping it on the ground and stuff, I'm not going to hit it with anything hard or drop it on cement. I'm not going to purposely break the glass or anything. I'm just not that way. But I do want to test them out a little bit. Leave a comment down below. So because of YouTube, I can't leave a link to this. But go and check out some of my other social medias like Facebook, Instagram, X, and a bunch of other ones. You guys might find some links there that you might like. Also, don't forget to check the links out down below. They are affiliate counts. There's links down there to Axel Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. If you use these links, they do help me out with the channel to get ammo to do videos like this. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.